everyone. I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I'm here with Mr. Raja Ram Pai who is business leader for DuPont Photovoltaic Solution and Mr. Mark Ma who is the global marketing manager for DuPont. Hello sir. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon Prasoon. Thank you so much. So first of all I'd like to begin uh, with a brief introduction about du DuPont Photovoltaic. What uh, products and services does it have to offer for the Indian solar market? Sure. So uh, DuPont uh, Photovoltaic Solution actually is the or the largest uh, non-silicon uh, raw material supplier. So the two major products we supply to the industry, one is the uh, sil silver paste. So it's uh, used for on the cell to improve the efficiency. And the second one is the Tyler film, which is used for the back sheet to protect the module uh, lifetime for 25 years. In terms of technology, how different your products are uh, in, 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 in comparison to your competitors? What this uh, two product actually uh, is is different. For silver paste, our product uh, improves the efficiency, so uh, our uh, performance uh, can help the uh, improve the cell efficiency by 0.1 percent or 0.2 uh, percent. So that's uh, improve a more higher efficiency. Uh, on the Hylar film uh, product, it's really the only field proven material that have, have been uh, in the field for more than 30 years. So it really helped the module, protect the module uh, lifetime for more than 30 years. Talking about the performance part, I mean, India is a very diverse country. It has many geographical locations and many different climatic conditions. So how has been your experience uh, in terms of performance of your products in different uh, uh, climatic conditions, especially in India? Well, that's a great question. I think, uh, you know, our product, the field, for, the field proven, in various uh, all kinds of uh, climate conditions, so we have uh, been used in the tropical area, uh, desert, <laughs> desert area, or tem temperate climate conditions. Uh, so in India, uh, a lot of installation I think are in the very harsh climate areas. We consider very hot or humid, so it has been uh, performing very well, protecting the module, uh, low power degradation, and a long lifetime. Now, coming to some broader aspects, I mean, the entire solar industry has majorly been driven by technological innovations, and we have seen many upcoming innovations with 15 volt technology, bifacial cells, perk, PERT. So, what, in your views, is the technology roadmap for the industry right now? Well, the roadmap actually, uh, the ultimate goal of this industry is to lower the LCOE and achieve the grid parity. So we are trying to uh, achieve this goal through two approaches. And one is the improved efficiency. Right? Really, uh, through every generation of our silver paste product, we improve the efficiency by 0.1, 0.2%. And uh, uh, also through this uh, new cell technology like uh, PERC, HIT, uh, we have the uh, solutions, N-type, uh, we have the different solutions for this uh, new cell uh, efficient, uh, new, new cell technology. Uh, this is really to lower the uh, cost of dollar per watt. Now, on the other side, uh, for Tyler Film, we think it's also very important to uh, extend the lifetime of the module. So the total power output of the module during their lifetime can be maximized. So that, that's uh, why we are actually uh, uh, invested heavily on the testing method of this uh, aging mechanism. How to better simulate uh, outdoor aging mechanism through the accelerated live testing test. I think that's a really, really critical uh, factor in for PV industry. And, and it's also a missing uh, uh, factor in currently, I think a lot of uh, uh, attention are being paid on the efficiency or dollar per watt. Well, uh, we are trying to promote uh, uh, long-term liability and uh, dollar per kilowatt hours. How much of your revenue or sales part goes into research and development for new products and uh, upgrading your present uh, product line? You know, we uh, consider ourselves as a science company, so we really uh, about 8% uh, of our revenue are being reinvested into the R&D resources. So we have a lot of uh, uh, PhDs and uh, labs uh, around the world really uh, collaborating with each other to work on the latest uh, technology and uh, uh, studies on the uh, field uh, uh, study. Yeah. 
coming to Mr. Pai, uh, what are the top uh, three or four markets for your company presently for for your business, and how important is East Asia or Southeast Asia for 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 Dupont? So we are a global company, you know, and we follow our customers. So currently, if you see the, you know, the concentration of the installations are more in China, the United States, India, Japan, and EMEA. And of course, there'll be newer markets like Africa and the Middle East. And we have a presence uh, in all of these countries. Uh, you know, so these would be all the markets wherever our customers, you know, participate. So we follow our customers wherever they go. As far as uh, South Asia is concerned, uh, we're seeing, uh, and, and you have seen the kind of growth that we have demonstrated. So today we are amongst the fastest and, uh, you know, probably in the next few years, we'll be the third largest uh, solar uh, country in the world, right? So it is extremely important for us. I think the DuPont uh, science supporting photovoltaics is strongly behind the growth in, uh, in South Asia. Speaking about Indian market, India has currently around uh, you know 1.2 to 1.5 watt cell manufacturing capacity. So, what do you think are the opportunities for budding entrepreneurs or present companies involved in the manufacturing business? You know, so I think if you were to just look around uh, the REI today, uh, it would give you a good sense about uh, the opportunities which exist. You know, and uh, every year that we have been seeing over the past few years, uh, you get to see newer and newer faces, and the current ones only grow larger in capacities. Uh, you know, there is uh, space for everyone. You know, there isn't any room to undercut. Uh, there is uh, opportunity to improve in terms of new technology investments, to collaborate for uh, for using uh, more durable, more proven materials. Uh, there is scope to increase uh, capacities because today with all of the uh, happenings in the environment, whether it's related to empty dumping or with regard to uh, minimum import prices, uh, it only creates a lot of strength behind the messaging of uh, Make in India. You know, so there is tremendous opportunity here. The government is strongly behind it. And then there are companies uh, like like DuPont, uh, who have a lot of proven uh, durable material uh, that have been proven across uh, different geographies, you know, like Tedler or uh, Solomit, uh, that are always available uh, for being used in extremely challenging and harsh environments like India. But uh, how do you generally view this? You mentioned the anti-dumping petition. So, what's the com uh, what's the DuPont's general view for anti-dumping petition being filed in India and being pushed for in the Indian market? Well, uh, for us, uh, we support a free trade. So we think uh, any kind of uh, uh, trade barrier will not uh, uh, be healthy, uh, be good for the healthy or sustainable growth of this industry. So, so all right, I'll put an end to this interview right here. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay.